Greetings everyone, I am Lady Ray Ashlyn Dragonoff and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I upload a video. I am doing vlogs, typically weekly, uploaded on a Monday, but occasionally I will skip a week and I may do it on a Tuesday. Uh, uh, which is the case today because I ended up getting a little too much sun and heat and fortunately it wasn't too much to the point that it was like heat, heat stroke or sunstroke but it definitely kicked in a headache that's still there right now I'm managing I want to get this vlog uploaded and all that talk with all of you about some fun shenanigans and such which as per the title you know that I'm gonna be talking about shenanigans so anyways, on my channel real quick, you will find that I do have a wide array of playlists of content that I really do like, and you feel free to check all that out. Really, there's a lot there that I can look at, so go ahead and do that if you ever have a chance. Uh, anyways, so yeah, today is vlog number 28. Um, yeah, so there's been a fair amount going on mentally for me. I do feel that I, in, uh, in my last vlog, I spoke about how I snap aggressively when I perceive confrontation and such, or I can do that. It's not that I do it all the time, but I have that possibility. I was thinking about it, and I was talking with a friend, and I realized it's as if I lose control, and it's definitely something I'm going to add into my emails to my therapist and psychiatrist so that this can be sorted through, worked through, so I don't do this as much, I guess. I don't know. It's very rare that I ever go in such behavior, but it's stuff that definitely needs to be looked into. I did get work done on my email to my primary doctor. I got my notes reorganized and a rough draft completed. It's been kind of hit and miss working on it, but I did get that done. I want my mom to look over it because she is really my primary caretaker in a sense. As she's very, she has always been very uh, a part of my medical treatment and such. <coughs> Excuse me. I was just drinking a bit of ginger ale because my stomach isn't too happy and ginger is good for the stomach to help settle it. So yeah, that one tasted a bit like my ginger ale. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so that is definitely in the works. I did get a phone call back, I believe, last Tuesday or the Tuesday before. Not last Tuesday, it was the Tuesday before. Uh, from animal services pertaining to the dog that I got bitten by. I don't know if I've really got any sort of extra problems other than the soft tissue damage from the bite making my knuckle tender and not exactly liking doing stuff a lot, but the the, the the punctures have healed on my hand. I have not received a phone call back from animal services. I called them Sunday. And so far, no response, but I will definitely be giving the police a call as they do work with animal services and hopefully they'll help me figure out what the heck's going on with this dog. I have not seen it out and about walking, but then again, I'm not always sitting in it or around the apartment in a position where I can see if the dog's out and about or not. But, yeah. Uh, Okay, so shenanigans, and what is this about the house burning down? Now, as any of you who have seen my content before, whether it's art or whatever, uh, on my other accounts and all that, you know that I identify more metaphorically now as half fire dragon. Or just half dragon. It is technically half fire dragon. Now, um, Remy, my kinship leader uh, on Lord of the Rings Online, he um, sent a message into the Discord server s warning us that the house, the kinship house, was not on fire. He just got a smoke screen that he put inside the house as a decoration. So I had to tease him. Why are you trying to burn down the house without me, a fire dragon? I kept digging at that, Adam, 
Yeah, he was just saying that he wasn't trying to burn down the house. But somehow I convinced him to go looking for other decoration pieces like the smoke screen. He ended up getting red fireflies, he got butterflies, and he got bats, and I think more smoke. So our kinship house definitely has a lot going on in it with those because there's bats that fly around in the main hall where the meeting room is, which I think because Remy is the kin leader, he has to sit at the head he gets to sit at the sit at the head of the meeting table where the officers meet to like say have a meeting if we ever do that. And well I ended up sitting in that seat. So I I as far as I know, Remy has at this point in time Remy has not gotten back to me at that, but I think he has seen my message message about that when I screenshotted me sitting there. <laughs> so yeah, I was pulling a bit of a fast one there. Um, okay, so there was this really interesting joke that was going around about orphans. I'm probably just not going to go too into detail about it, but I ended up adopting both Remy and Josh. Uh, to, uh, yeah, Josh, he's also, um, one of the other officers in the kinship along with me, although I don't technically have a role. I think I'm more of an honorary officer. Um, but, uh... I ended up adopting both of them. I disowned them. And then I ended up readopting Remy as my son, which was peculiar in itself. Uh, he ended up really sticking to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know why, but okay. So anyways, uh, a while later, I ended up adopting Remy on Lord of the Rings Online. You can adopt two children on there, which is really interesting. It's a nice addition. And so I adopted Remy. I'm leaving the other slot open for a friend. But I did recently readopt Josh outside of the kinship. So now in the kinship, I've got Remy as my son. And outside on Discord, I've got Josh and Remy as my sons. It isn't really something that is like talked about, touched on a lot. But it's a small little shenanigan, friendly shenanigan that's happening. So... Yeah, I actually, um, when the kinship was first being made, uh, our, we could change each other's, or most everybody's, name in the Discord server. That, that's since been cancelled out, but, uh, Josh had changed my name from Lady Ray AD, I think I named, was, I think that was what my name was on there at that time, but he ended up na renaming me to Lady Shaw Ray Ray. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, hold on one second. I don't know if you would have heard it, but I know I would have. Uh, there's a lawn down below that uh, gardener uh, groundskeeper. I don't know what his role is, but he maintains the grounds... And he just started mowing the lawn. Where the heck was I? Okay, so yeah. I, I ended up getting payback to Josh by naming him Fluffy Phoebe. Which his name was already Phoebe, but I just added in Fluffy. Because his hair, when it's long, he's definitely fluffy. Um, but when I ended up becoming a Remy's mom, like readopting him, I... I searched to double check that I knew the Sindarin word for mother, which is Naneth. So I went and changed out lady to Naneth Sharere. So that's my name in the Discord server. If any of you end up joining our kinship, we really are a kinship that is relaxed, loose. We're trying to keep it small, relatively small kind of thing. Um, so yeah, if, if you're like a weird like, you're a little off in the head, weird, and don't really fit into the norm, you might actually fit very well into our group of weirdos. Uh, we, we've even had a GIF war conversation. I don't remember what happened, but Raven and Remy ended up going at it. I joined 
uh, Remy's side of it and help fight back against Raven. I don't know how that one truly ended because I do know I tossed in a gif of a rhino taking a dump and I think that might have been after I insinuated that Remy has nuclear atomic farts. Then he goes and asks me in a gif, why do you have to be like that? I don't know. I just am. <laughs> so, yeah, it was quite hilarious. That there are a lot of references toward just different things through the gifs, such as Monty Python's Quest for the Holy Grail. That is a phenomenal movie. I do recommend it. It is British comedy, but it's absolutely hilarious. It is fantastic. So yeah, definitely, if you guys ever get a chance to watch that movie, watch it. I recommend it. Um, and I also recommend watching um, History of the World Part 1. That is a phenomenal movie. I asked my kinship if anybody knew what a stand-up philosopher was. Well, they sort of had it right. Or Remy did, at least. The philosopher that stands up on stage sharing it. No, it's a bullshitter. That's what a stand-up philosopher is. If you have watched or are end up watching the History of the World Part 1, you would definitely know what I'm, I'm quoting from. Uh, so, yeah, there is definitely movie quotes going on. There are different types of conversation that's transpired. We have in our kinship, there is the normal humor, dark humor channels. So as I kind of filter through some of the humor and such. Um... Now, um, in the kinship as well, we do have the kin chest. Only officers can access it. If you say want a piece of um, material or something that we have in the kin chest, which is predominantly, this is predominantly supposed to be used for weaponry and armory that you can craft for yourself or for others. That's what we're trying to aim for with the items in the kin chest. Um... But you can, you can ask an officer that's online, or if there isn't an officer online, send a mail to, uh, I believe, I forget who, who it was, but you can just really just go on to Discord and go into the, I have it up on my laptop right here. What the heck am I trying to look at? Uh, crafting requests. Uh, you can go ahead and go in there and pop in and put in what your request is and once it's been filled out that, that request will get taken down so you don't end up getting accidentally double um, you are allowed to donate uh, items for it which is which is nice but you can also hold on to your your own stuff too um, yeah we do have different officers there's me the honorary one there's a Discord officer to help with any technical difficulties and such that transpire there. Um, that's Josh or Phoebe. Then Raven, she is, in, uh, her role is right now trying to keep peace. If there's a uh, conflict that arises. Uh, who else? Falianor is a bit of a recruitment officer, so... They will be helping with recruiting, which this video is in a sense, letting you know what's going on in this kinship. And hey, if you want to check us out on there, feel free to join us. Uh, Doggy E-Boy. I honestly don't even know how he has that supposed to be pronounced. But he is dubbed the Officer of Entertainment. So he will be doing streams and movies and such like that that you can join and watch. Uh, dang, excuse me, that's the second one. Wow, okay. But yeah, um, we also have... Well, I just went over everybody. And then we also have our leader, Remy, who is really cool, really fun. Uh, honestly, all of us, we have our idiosyncrasies and quirks that really lighten the room in our group, as you could say. You're more than welcome to join us. We are 
I forgot to mention this earlier. We are on the server on Lord of the Rings Online, Evernight EU. We're not always online because, of course, we have stuff going on in our own lives, which is like me, headache, which is annoying. Crap. Got a phone call. Yeah, that's another crap call. We've been getting a lot of scam calls. Anyways. Probably just let that ring. <laughs> Um, uh, I will in the down below um, okay I thought the answering machine had a voice going on it down below in the comment section I will go ahead and name at least the main at least the main um, names of our characters, our main characters that we play as on Lord of the Rings Online, I'll go ahead and put those down below of our officers so that if, say, you are online and you want to join us, you can send one of us a tell. Uh, you would have to be through the tutorial and the introduction in order to be able to join our kinship, kinship but you would be able to add us as a friend before that, uh, after you get out of the tutorial, I believe. But yeah, you can definitely send us tells through those, see if any of us are online. And yeah, we're we're fun, doofy. Okay, I have to check this. Oh, yeah. Apparently I'm in trouble by Eagle as I am now working on recording this. Eagle is a little upset that I went and took his chair and now I must be punished for it. Well, okay. So, so yeah, at the end of this video I went ahead and got that answer because he went and responded to me on my laptop here. But anyways, I think... Uh, okay, my hand, yeah, touching back on what I was talking about earlier about my hand, it is feeling better, there is still some pain. Uh, wiggling it like that did not exactly agree, but I am hoping in the not too distant future to be able to draw more. I do need to rest and such. M my head and eyes, because of this headache that has not cleared up yet, but I have been taking Tylenol for it. It's like the better choice for pain relief medication uh, in combination with my medications for my mental illness and such. So yeah, I'm going to call that good. Really, yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. Um, but yeah, feel free to join us on there. So yeah, go ahead and check out my channel up here and also down over here. I do have my playlist for my vlogs that I always put up. So yeah. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Ad Astra.